Welcome to the PV Analyzer video training series by Solmetric. Solmetric is a leader in solar PV test and measurement equipment, and these short videos are designed to help you get started using the Solmetric products. This particular video will show you how to set up the PV Analyzer IV measurement unit, and will include charging the unit, attaching adapters, and connecting to a module or a string. The previous video in this series described how to start the PV Analyzer software and set up a PV model but you can measure IV curves with or without first setting up a PV model. The PV Analyzer measurement unit has two test leads, one positive and one negative, and a Velcro flap, under which is the power button and the charging port. Use only the AC charger provided by Solmetric to charge the unit. The PV Analyzer measurement unit's primary test leads terminate in MC4 connectors. The measurement unit is shipped with a pair of connector saver adapters attached to these primary leads. These are intended to extend the lifetime of the primary connectors, and we recommend that you leave them in place at all times and replace them when needed. Solmetric also offers MC4 to MC3 adapter cables and high current alligator clip leads. Warning: Testing PV arrays exposes you to lethal levels of electric shock. Don't test PV arrays unless you have appropriate certification, experience, and supervision. Use safe working practices and appropriate personal protective equipment. To connect the measurement unit to a single module, simply connect the test leads to the leads on the back side of the module. Use the MC4 to MC3 adapter cables if needed. In commercial scale systems, strings of modules are combined in parallel at fused DC combiner boxes. Combiner boxes generally have a positive and a negative bus bar at which the strings are combined. Depending on the polarity and design of the array, the fuse may be on the positive or negative conductor, or both. To connect the IV measurement unit to a combiner box, first isolate the combiner box from the inverter and the rest of the PV array by opening the DC disconnect switch. Then, de-energize the bus bars by pulling all the fuses. Use a voltmeter to verify that the bus bars are de-energized. Using the alligator clip test leads, attach the positive lead of the PV analyzer to the positive bus bar and the negative lead to the negative bus bar. Then insert only the fuse for the string you wish to measure. In residential systems, strings of modules are often combined at the inverter. The way the PV source conductors are terminated depends on the design of the inverter and on the design of the integrated DC disconnect switch. You will need to identify a safe way of isolating the strings from the inverter, of isolating the strings from each other, and of connecting the measurement unit to the PV source conductors. Once it is connected to a module or string, turn the measurement unit on by pressing the power button, which is located at the front side of the unit next to the charging port. The light on the button will blink to indicate that the unit is searching for the wireless USB adapter. When the wireless connection has been made, notice that the status indicator in the software has changed from No IV Unit to Ready and is now colored green. This means the PV analyzer is ready to take a measurement. Whenever measurements are not desired, pause the IV measurement unit by pressing the power button again. The status indicator in the software will change from Ready to Paused. Make sure to pause the IV measurement unit before disconnecting the test leads from the system. The PV analyzer will automatically turn itself off if it has been inactive for more than 15 minutes in order to conserve the battery charge. The next step is to make PV analyzer measurements and to view the results. This is covered in the next video. Thank you for watching.